moment. And then we're also going to get into the latest on the invasion of the migrants run by Saudi Arabia and others who won't take one single migrant, even though they started the wars that basically caused so much of this. Uh, it's just classic how they guilt us into submission. Uh, I just talked to my Patriot Supply. They gave us only two weeks under the private label, InfoWarsSelect.com, that's their entire food line, exact same product, exact same quality, the exact same age, you know, recently produced. It's, it's like a week old. I mean, that's how fast they're making this food, super high quality, lowest prices already. I was able to get an introductory deal. It took me a while to twist their arm into this to have prices that are basically 10% lower than any special they've ever offered. It is the lowest price at InfoWarsStore.com on InfoWars Select that My Patriots ever offered. And we have the My Patriot full spectrum of foods uh, at their lowest prices uh, right next to it. So you can order the InfoWars Select, the exact same thing at a lower price, or get the My Patriot Supply. And I didn't really promote it. Like I wanted to, it's very popular though. So I have twisted their arm until October 1st and that's it. They, it was going to end Thursday. They have extended it one more week. So it's going to go until October 1st. You can get the lowest price in, in the best packaging, the plastic tote containers, uh, you name it. A one month, a three month, a six month, a year. Uh, all of it. It is the very best high quality Storable foods you're going to find. It's what I and my family use. You can also call toll-free, and we'll take your order, 888-253-3139, 888-253-3139. The globalist social engineers want us to not be self-sufficient. They want us dependent on them. That's 101. So having storable food, having firearms you know how to use, having high-quality water filtration is essential. And as for water filtration, you should be using that anyways. All major water supplies in all, what, 48 states. Well, Hawaii has it too, so that's 49, has glyphosate in the water. That's Roundup. You talk about miracle growth for tumors, maybe it's it. That's now been proven in so many studies it'll make your head spin and now admit it. And then you have the hundreds of other chemicals. The number one thing you can do in my experience is drink purified water, but it's got to be the proper purified systems as well. We have the ProPure G2 systems that are the best price, highest quality. They're the same price as leading competitors or less, and they blow the competition away in double-blind scientific studies. We have those studies listed. We have taste tests listed, videos listed at InfoWarsStore.com in the water filtration section. And we have several other brands as well that are extremely high quality uh, and also very cost effective. So that's my philosophy here is a win, 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 win. Everything I promote is something I use. Everything I promote is something I know you need. Everything I promote is very competitively priced. I mean, I'm a flaming capitalist, folks. I'm out of the closet. I mean, I'm an extremist. Pro-liberty, pro-human, pro-gun, pro-family, free market, capitalist, foaming at the mouth, libertarian, laissez-faire. I'm just so liberal, it's sick. You're like, liberal? You're a super conservative. Well, no, no. Liberals founded this country. They were liberal compared to the crown or compared to Europe or compared to the church. The, they were the real liberals. They're called classical liberals. That's what I am. And I see these cult member, scumbag, gang member, thug, disintegration control freaks that call themselves liberals that are just in trendy cults, and I feel sorry for them because they don't know what real liberalism is. They don't know it means more freedom, more choice, stay out of my life, keep more of your money. They believe it is the tyranny they promote. So I want to thank you all for helping fund this true constitutionalist, paleoconservative, classical liberal, whatever name you give it. It's what made this country great. It's what made people want to come here, the freedom, the choice, the true diversity. It's not diversity when they tell kids you can't say boy or girl, he or she, mother or father, because someone else might get hurt. Well, I'm sorry if you're hurt, you don't have a daddy and I do. I didn't do that. That's total class warfare envy. I've noticed before that I've gotten rent cars and they'll go, we've got a BMW for the same price as that Ford truck. You want a BMW? And I went, I guess, I've never driven a BMW, and it wasn't even a fancy one. People honking at me, people mad at me, 
people acting weird towards me, and I really noticed it. So another time I went on a trip, I got another luxury car again, and then I did it again. I noticed, man, I really like driving a Ford truck because I don't want people thinking I got money or something. I mean, they have created such incredible class envy in this country, it makes my head spin. And even people that are middle class now get upset if somebody is better at sports to them or better in business. I mean, I would think you would admire that person and want to learn why they're successful. But this class warfare, class envy system is the death of this country. We've got to reverse it. And so for all of Donald Trump's problems, one of the positive things is at least he's self-made. He's got his problems, but at least he's self-made and he makes it okay to be successful again. Because that's the type of examples we need for children to believe they can become successful because more rich people that are free market means more wealth for everybody else more economy the problem is the globalists are monopoly men and they use gamed regulations game stock markets gamed interest rates to consolidate power and they're waging war on the middle class more on that coming up also we will sell out of survival shield nation i on x2 it's a major game changer incredible good halogen for the body what it's done for me is just unspeakable. You've heard the rave reviews. You can read the reviews at InfoWarsLife.com. That will sell out by next week. It'll be sold out for at least a month, so take advantage of that. We got a lot of the great knockout uh, sleep aid back in, getting great reviews on that front. Vitamin B12 is back in. Silver Bullet and more, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. I'm Doug, done plugging. Okay. Let's go back to your calls right now, then I'll get into the Volkswagen scandal widens that I mentioned last hour that I wanted to tell, because through this story, you can understand everything. This is one of what I call a Rosetta Stone type issue. Uh, Stephen in Florida, thanks for holding her on the air. Yeah, hey, Alex. Uh, I've been trying to gather my thoughts while I've been on hold so I don't sound like an incoherent, raving religious maniac. Uh, but here's what I wanted to say. Uh, I've been thinking about the situation in Europe that you're going to be talking about with these so-called migrants and the implications for what's coming here in America. Now, here, here's what I'm getting at. Um, we, most people in America, and especially I've harped harp on this before, most Christians are so asleep and hypnotized by so much of what's going on in the religious realm that they're totally unaware of what's really coming, and they're living in this presumption that we're just going to get fly away before all this gets really bad. Well, I was yeah, it's a cult. Don't worry about the volcano erupting and the lava flowing towards the town. We all take our mushrooms. Uh, you know, it's, it's like a new age cult or something. But it's the Christians. They just keep thinking everything's going to be fine. And I'm going to tie this into what you were just talking about with the widespread pedophilia and this perversion. Uh, I live right in the shadow of one of the major hubs of that, and that is Disney. And I was doing some research today, and, you know, I've told people there's an Old Testament story about uh, where the Philistines captured the uh, Jewish Ark, the centerpiece of the Jewish worship, and they got it back because the Philistines finally sent it back after God plagued them. And so what they did was, on the cart that they sent it back with, they had what was termed five golden mice. They worshipped mice. Now, I want you to get this. Here in central Florida, and this has affected the world, the main religion here is the worship of the mouse, Disney, okay, which is one of the major hubs for the sex trafficking rings that take these children and sell them through kitty porn into these pedophilia rings worldwide. And the thing is, there are so many people, especially Christians, who give their money to this organization that's run by a bunch of pedophiles and sodomite perverts because it's run by the New World Order. You look into the history of Disney, the man himself, and you'll find this guy with a hardcore pornographer, kitty porn, snuff films. Or well, I'll say rock. this. I'll say this. All Disney films have sexual subliminal messages in them, and it's documented. Um, and Disney is anti-gun. Disney admits that it works with the Pentagon with its ID bracelets and biometrics as a model for re-education camps worldwide. And by the way, folks, that's even been in the Washington Post. In fact, that sounds so insane. When you guys search engine, uh, Disney uh, works with Pentagon. 
uh, modeling control of cities, I think, will pull it up. Because uh, they've got on the East Coast this Disney community where people live there and they admit everything's tracked and the Pentagon used it as a model of control grids in Fallujah. And, I mean, even I couldn't believe this five, six years ago when I read it. And it was in, like, the Washington Post. That's what was so crazy uh, about it. I first saw an article about it on an airplane. I was reading how great it was. Uh, and I don't want to say everybody that works for Disney is a pedophile. Uh, I don't know about them in snuff films and kiddie porn. Uh, I don't know what your evidence of that is, sir. Uh, but definitely Disney is a major, major, major uh, globalist operation. And they also are trying to change copyright law where they own words, where, you know, I couldn't say the word Disney without paying them money, a royalty, all automated. And then they're the ones trying to lobby to end Internet freedom. Uh, and so I won't, you know, be caught dead uh, inside a Disney facility. Uh, I've thought about going to Disney just to document it, but uh, I've been inside of it, you know, obviously when I was a child and as an adult, I've... Uh, you know, been on the outskirts of it, but it's 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 not very fun. I don't like big amusement parks and lines that are you know an hour long. Uh, but but what is your proof of uh, Disney involved in these pedo rings? And what I found was the guy you've had on your show, Fritz Springmeier, with his thirteen bloodlines of Illuminati. He documents what Disney himself was actually into. You can go on and look this up for yourself. And he, he thoroughly documents, and what I want to tie it in with is the immigrants. Now, these guys are going around targeting women and children, okay? You consider that their founder, Muhammad, brought women, girls as young as nine years old, that's a historic fact, into his harem, saying that Allah has commanded me to do this, I have the right to do so. So that's why they'll take girls as young as nine years old. It's following what the religion has taught them. And I know the globalists are using these people, but I'm trying to send Alex, what I'm looking at happening in Europe, it is coming for here in America. And people better wake up because we are going to face the same thing here unless we rise up and stand no, up. I hear you. Experience. I mean, listen, they are bringing in the most radical and downtrodden and poor people and ISIS folks. And they are robbing and carjacking and killing and attacking and screaming, we hate America, we hate Europe. And their imams, the big top ones, are on TV saying we're taking over. America's weak. Europe's weak. Ah, ha, ha. And it is because we're weak. Political correctness has ended any culture. It has ended any basic controls of, quote, discrimination. And by discrimination, if I'm walking through a field at night with a flashlight and I see a pit... I'm going to discriminate against it. I'm going to walk around it. Uh, and so, you know, you discriminate which restaurant you go to. You discriminate where you live, you know, for how far you want to drive. They've taken discrimination, stereotyping somebody because of what color they are, or where they're from, and they've projected that on now to saying you can't have individuality. You can't have your own culture. You've got to accept all this, and this is the plan to bring in a voting bloc uh, to have a political checkmate on Europe, but also Europe through social policies and the United States, I don't care if you're Hispanic, black, or white, has less than two children. So, yes, we do have to import people because of the Social Security Ponzi schemes to keep it going, but that's not what the establishment's doing. They're not bringing in people that have been screened who, who want to work, who want to be part of the system. They're bringing them in and filling them full of these leftist ideologies, liberation theologies, and now we have the Pope coming right as Congress, and I haven't gotten to this yet, it's huge news, out of the New York Times. Uh, in fact, I had it here, guys. We bring me another one? It, it's been moved. Thank you. They've now come out. Here it is. Senate Democrats to unveil climate change bill. They And I appreciate your call, Stephen. They couldn't get Congress five years ago to pass it. They couldn't get Congress three years ago to pass it again, so they had Obama do it by executive fiat. Over a 1,000 power plants have been shut down, totally clean ones. No one can come here because the energy is too expensive. I mean, you want to make it prohibitive to have jobs, that's what you do. And again, they know the public's dumb, so even in the New York Times, they show coal plants, and they say, look at all the smoke. That's water vapor and carbon dioxide because it's hot air hitting, hitting air that isn't as hot. Just like, you know, you're not exhaling smoke on a cold winter's day. You're, you're exhaling 98.9 degree uh, air, and it's got water in it, so it's, it's, it, you're not breathing smoke. 
and, and if you show the New York Times article, they say, look at all the pollution, and they show smokestacks. They're not smokestacks. They're smokestacks in Mexico and China. They have no, no scrubbers. The big building.